Assalamu alaikum, I am Dr. Abu Bakr Siddiq, Associate Professor of Medicine. In this video, we will see the ECG features of dextrocardia and how to differentiate technical dextrocardia. That means the ECG features of dextrocardia that is due to technical error and limb bleed reversal. In this ECG, we can see some abnormality. In lead AVR, there is positive P wave and positive R wave or QRS complex. In normal ECG, the P wave remains negative and R wave also negative. There is no positive R wave in AVR. But in this ECG, we can see the positive P and R wave or QRS complex. So, this abnormality may be due to either dextrocardia or it may be due to technical error that is limb lead reversal. So, to differentiate uh, from true dextrocardia and technical dextrocardia, we, ca we should see the other features. In lead 1 and ABL, the P and R wave are negative. This is abnormal. In normal ECG, lead 1 and AVL, the P and R wave is positive. In this ECG, it is abnormal in 1 and AVL. The next feature we will see the progression of the R wave in the precordial leads that is B1 to B6. Here, the height of the R wave is uh, progressively decreasing from B1 to B6 and in lead B6 virtually there is no R wave. So it is called reverse progression of the R wave in precordial leads. That is gradually diminishing height of the R wave from B1 to B6. In normal ECG, this is normal ECG, we can see the R wave is virtually absent in the lead B1 and then gradually increased in the amplitude from B1 to B6 or B5. So, this is normal progression and this is reverse progression. So, these are the features of uh, dextrocardia positive PQRS and uh, T is not mandatory, the positive P and QRS in lead ABL and negative P and QRS in 1 and ABL. Also, there is right axis deviation. <coughs> and reverse progression of the R wave from B1 to B6. In this ECG, we can see some abnormality. First, look to the AVR. Here is P is positive and R is also positive. So, this may be due to technical error or dextrocardia. For this, you have to look for the other features. In lead 1 and ABL, the P is inverted and also R wave is predominantly negative. But in chest lead, the, there is no reverse progression of the R wave. There is uh, almost normal progression, but we can see some abnormality. The R wave in lead B2 is uh, abnormally tall in relation to B1 and B3. So, this is although this is not a reverse progression, there is some abnormality and this is due to technical error. So, in technical error, we can find the positive waves in the AVR, negative waves in the one AVL, but no reverse progression in precordial leads. Here is another technical error. In this ECG, we can see the AVR that is positive P and R wave. But in 1 and ABL, ABL, these are also positive. So, uh, the whether the P and R wave will be positive or negative, that depends upon the uh, what technical error occur, which uh, limb lead is reversed. Uh, and in this uh, precordial leads, we can see the uh, R wave progression from beyond to uh, B6 is progressively increased, it is normal. 
so it is another type of technical error so the most important point to differentiate true dextrocardia from technical dextrocardia is the progression of the height of the r wave so in normal people and in case of technical dextrocardia the height of the r wave progressively increase from b1 to b6 that, that is normal progression and in case of true dextrocardia the r wave height is gradually diminished from b1 to b6 that is called reverse progression of the r wave here is another ecg we can see here in avr there is positive p and r wave and negative p and r wave in one and that is uh, abl abl and reverse progression of the r wave from beyond to b6 r wave height is gradually dim decreasing from beyond to b6 this is also true dextrocardia so dextrocardia is the cardiac position that is mirror image of normal we can do x-ray to confirm this and echocardiography may be done to evaluate the cardiac status and next thing to identify whether abdominal visceral is also reversed we can do ultrasonogram simply to do that if the abdominal visceral is also reversed that is, that is liver on the uh, left side and plane on the right side and all abdominal visceral reverse it is called situs inversus totalis the phys uh, physical finding <coughs> includes the Apex bit will not be palpable in the left side and on auscultation heart sound will be more marked on the right side. Clinical importance of dextrocardia. The most patients of dextrocardia are asymptomatic and they are detected incidentally but some congenital anomalies may be associated with dextrocardia. If it is associated with situs inversus chronic sinusitis and bronchiectasis it is called Cartagenar syndrome this syndrome is caused by genetic abnormality in the ciliary motility that is ciliary dyskinesia also patient may present atypically for, for some disease due to abnormal position of the viscera for example normally appendicitis patient of appendicitis present with pain in the right leg fossa but in this case patient with situs inversus may present with pain in the left leg fossa and obviously the surgeon should have review the anatomy in case of dextrocardia and doing surgery special abdominal surgery thank you all if you have any question or query regarding ecg features of dextrocardia or technical dextrocardia you may write in the comment box feel free to like comment and share the video and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you